Hi guys, welcome to another video. Today we're going to be making an, an Evo Shield batter's elbow guard for like a youth player. So make sure it's like the size of your elbow and this is just a piece of foam from an old shield that my brother was making. So just make sure it's the size of your elbow and um, that general shape. And uh, now I'm just gonna go um, Dremel off the edges so it's not super like it's super clean cut so you want to you're gonna need to want to have a mask and um, goggles so that none of the spray gets in your eyes that you're dremeling off if you're using a dremel but if you're using a sander or a piece of sandpaper it'll be fine you don't really need this but my brother wanted one so we got one so uh, this is what I'm gonna be using because it's just the easiest tool so now it's all clean cut and good looking <laughs> so um, the next thing we're going to do is try and paint it black so um yeah i tried to paint paint it black and it didn't really work out that well because it was like some sort of like a temporary like see-through paint and it didn't really work but uh the next thing is i'm just probably gonna wipe that off but the next thing is to use this, this strap from a knee pad like a skating knee pad and um, a little piece of velcro that we're gonna use as the strap for the arm for the elbow pad so um, that's basically all you're going to need, and if you and we're going to try to use that um, that mesh there. So I cut that um, I cut it out of a bigger one. So that's what um, the Evo Shield has on some of their models is that mesh that goes over it. But uh, it didn't really work out because it's not really big enough, and it's like it's it ripped a little bit too. So I'm just going to use these shorts, which I found that are really small and they don't really work in the red. So. Hopefully I can paint those with some sort of black and um, use that little cord I found on the top to put around the the elbow guard for a, a which sort which is sort of like a decoration. So now I'm gonna I'm painting the um, the shorts black for mesh. Um, but um, if you don't if you don't have like black paint, you should use black spray paint. I just didn't have any. Um, and now it's not really dry yet, so I was, I'm painting the, um, the elbow guard purple because that's the color of our town logo and, like, mascot. That's our high school mascot, and I'm going into high school this year, so this is what I'm gonna be doing. I'm just, I just do a purple under, and then one, with the mesh going over it, it'll make, like, a dotted pattern. But, um, so yeah. The next thing I did was take the mesh once it was dry and cut out that little square that I made. And I had to do a couple coats because the paint sort of like sunk into the actual mesh and it was like really painstaking thing and where you had to do a bunch of coats and it was like some parts didn't get fully black. I'm sorry, you can't really see the um, actual elbow guard right here, but I'm gluing the uh, mesh to the outer edges. So I just glued it around so there wasn't any glue in the middle of the actual elbow, elbow guard. And so this is what it looks like. Um, as you can see, I just glued it around instead of on the middle so there wasn't any um hot glue that came like out of the middle and uh so that's what it looks like and then sorry i didn't film this but um i took some white tape that i had and um, i attached that obviously that um outer rim which i talked about earlier with, that just came from the knee pad sorry i'm um, just grabbing some um some tape but i uh, and the camera flipped too um, I just cut out the, uh, the, um, pattern and then glued it on with, with just some regular, like, glue, Elmer's glue, clear glue, and then, um, so the next part I'm gonna do is, um, use this sunglasses case as, like, a little part to fill in that little black part. So this is how it, it turned out, um, you can't really see the purple, which I really like, but it looks like a real... Evo Shield elbow guard. Um, the Velcro works really well, and I like to close it and then just slip it on my arm. But I didn't add the logo to the little spot that I covered up with this sunglasses case, but because I didn't really know how and I didn't want to cut out more tape because that was really annoying. Well, um, so comment um, down below um, with any questions you have for me. Uh, hopefully you like this video and uh, thanks for watching, guys. 